The parents of a knife-waving teenager shot and killed by police at Florida Tech are now demanding answers. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi joins us live in Brevard County. Alina, they claim the officers did not have to kill their son. Yes, and they were very emotional this morning, saying their son did not have to die. The attorney says the family is looking for accountability and answers in their son's death. When you see it on TV, you don't know how much pain you get from losing a child until it happened to you. Police say 18-year-old Alhaji So chased students with a knife around campus. Melbourne police say he lunged at them with a weapon, and that's when a Melbourne officer and an FIT campus security officer both shot him. Our primary concern is why non-lethal options weren't considered or used in this case, and more significantly, why the security officer for Florida Tech uh, only had a gun and did not have any type of non-lethal mechanism. So's parents and their attorney are demanding surveillance and officer-worn body camera video of the incident to help understand what happened. I know my son. That's not my son. Chilling 911 calls from students paint a picture of panic and confusion as so allegedly chase students. Are you able to are you able to go? Are you able to run? No, I don't know. I'm literally running right now. So's family says they aren't aware of their son having any mental health issues. His father says he spoke to him a few hours before the incident. They were planning to spend time with him over Christmas break. Even if you kill a fly. Like when you kill a fly at the house, Al Haji will say, "Don't kill that fly. That fly have a life. That that fly have a right to live." And the lawyer tells us that that family was asked not to come back on campus, but they weren't given a reason why. We know that the FDLE is currently investigating the situation. We've reached out to them earlier today. We still have not gotten a response just yet. For now, we're live in Vieira, Lena Shirazi, Fox 35 News.